We're here at the Giga Connectivity Forum 2024 at ITU headquarters in Geneva, and I've got the great pleasure of being joined by Thomas Davin, who is the director of the Global Office of Innovation at UNICEF. Uh, Thomas, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, I've got a couple of questions for you. Perhaps you could tell us about a little bit about uh, today's event and any insights that resonated with you today. Yes, we, when we talk about the connectivity and why it matters, we start always from the, the daunting size of the challenge, right? 2.6 billion people not connected in the world, 40 to 50% of schools not connected in the world. It means every year we're leaving children, millions of children, further and further behind their peers. We start there and that, that really resonated very strongly in this morning. However, what I also heard was a sense of determination that was just incredible. Um, and ingenuity that came from Honduras to Kazakhstan to Rwanda. They all look at this challenge, which is the same challenge for all of them. They have different geographies, they have different means, they have different economies, um, but they all find different ways of, of progressing forward or getting connectivity one school at a time or a hundred school at a time, or in the case of Brazil, a thousand school at a time. And it's just incredible the, the tenacity, the sense that we are not going to stop until we get this done. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about Giga, what makes Giga special with it being a partnership between UNICEF and ITU? So it's quite an extraordinary partnership from my lens. Um, obviously I'm not objective because we are, we are deep within that, that same partnership, but it does, it's quite rare within the, the United Nations that you have um, an agency from more the regulatory um, lens um, and one from the program lens really coming together um, that's not obvious, um, and so it, it took, you know, a, a spark for us to think we must do this because we actually add different values to that equation, and and we probably could be a spark for the the rest of the industry that that that, uh, that sector where we can we can bring that accelerator together. Second is that because we come from different lenses and we come from different, we also come from different partnership lenses, which means that when we come together, we bring various parts of an ecosystem of private sector partners, multilateral affairs um, that really otherwise would not naturally necessarily come together. And I think that's extremely powerful. What's your message to governments, both those who are working with Giga and those who have yet to work with Giga? The first one would be a message of hope. I think there's, when we look at our partners, uh, particularly international financial, financial institutions, uh, the World Bank, African Digital Development Bank, Asian Development Bank, um, all of them are really now looking at connectivity as that first layer of impact. They, there is an acknowledgement that this is a foundational element on which all development efforts are going to have to really be built upon. Um, and so many of those institutions are now prioritizing that element of connectivity, digital transformation as one of the key things they're going to be doing. And so the world is really coming around and coming together in support of what we are trying to resolve. That's the first one. So keep, keep heart. Uh, help is, more help is coming. And the second, I would say, is really don't feel that you have to invent all the solutions on your own. You have extraordinary partners in UNICEF, in ITU, that are, that are really brought, that have brought a range of other external partners, the tech industries, the, the telecom industry. Those are extraordinary expertise and they've already come together with a range of extraordinary tools that allow you to standardize to optimize to, to, for, towards effectiveness, efficiencies, and scale um, on the efforts that you are really pursuing. So count us in and count on us. Thank you very much for joining us and, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on our podcast channels. And for further information, why not visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.